Hi guys feel warmly welcome to Usatility. Today we are on the way to see how to launch and play Art of Conquest on PC. Now you can display it on screen. It will be possible to easily download and install Art of Conquest and enjoy playing the game on a Windows computer with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else buddies, to get started we need to open our main browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the current URL that I have highlighted in green. Now, you can see on the screen. There is no need to type anything, because there's a link in the video description and the first main comment. We ended up there on our own internet site of Usatility, where we include an in-depth demonstration on how to download Art of Conquest on PC. We search lower a tad and just click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we reach the website of LD Player, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Art of Conquest on PC. As you can discover from here we have several advantages of running the emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instant synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. So we are ready to start downloading the Art of Conquest by clicking on this button download Art of Conquest on PC that you can visualize here in green. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It's a file to execute. What we have to do now is to launch the executable file, OK, so we need to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We said yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installer better. The installation software is very easy to use. It consists of two options, install and setup path. I am going to clarify what setup path does. We purely click it, and then we note that we display here the path in which the emulator can be set up. If we want to change for better this directory we must click on the Browse button, and therefore we decide on another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we want. To keep it simple, just leave it by default. Then, I click on Back, and therefore I pick Install. At this time, prior to starting setting up that emulator, it is possible that it will present us one or more computer software offers to add on the laptop. Because I do not want to have any of these computer software, I simply click many times on the Reject option. Great, the install begins and it is going to go forward with the download of those megabytes that happens to be displayed on that screen. After you download it, it could be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed may go faster or at a lower speed, subject to your web access and according to the velocity of the emulator servers. Right now they're running extremely fast. The download is completed, then now it continues with the installation phase. The installation will take a little bit more or less time primarily based on the power of your computer or laptop, the more efficient it is, the shorter the installation time and or vice versa. If we merge the download and software installation step it may take a considerably long time, so be patient. It has already completely finished on my side. At present, the emulator happens to be started successfully. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will advance to the right then when it has reached the end, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The reality is the emulator has been launched, here for the first time. Not to mention LD Store is instantly launched, that is a kind of Google Play. It is not the most correct method to install the video game, therefore I don't endorse it, considering the fact that occasionally the LD Store puts an out-of-date version of the game. Allow me to teach you the best way to set up the game working with the Google Play and therefore I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we have to accomplish is to go to the computer's desktop by hitting this icon that I am pointing out in green color. Before we continue on, as now you can see, it has created two icons there on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player icon is the one we're considering. At any time when we have to run Art of Conquest on our PC, we double-click this specific icon and therefore start the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or nearly anything like that. Indeed, it is an app icon that we would certainly never work with. Shall we conduct the next phase, which is actually a must-have, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will go there to System Apps, we click on and we are going to just click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is presented. Right here we are required to sign in. At present once we are on this page, we are required to execute the next step which is compulsory. Therefore simply click on Sign In. Presently it shows Checking Info. It could once in a while get stuck in Checking Info, additionally it doesn't continue. In that case, you may try to connect to your account after a few hours it's going to probably be repaired. At this time we're going to insert our email address and password. The email has to be a Gmail email and its related password. For example you could use the same exact email you use at this moment in your YouTube account. Then I am going to enter my information and I'll revisit when I have completed it. Voila, info typed in. Discover Google welcoming us and offering us their terms of service. We must accept them by pressing, I agree. 
Following that, it makes it possible to save to the Google Cloud. You can let it checked and it will produce a backup of your files on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We click on accept. By now Google Play is started by default and instantly. In case that the Google Play is not started immediately and you do not know how to launch it manually, I explain to you how to do this. The very first thing is to proceed to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this icon noted in green. At this time we navigate to the system apps folder and we select the Play Store icon. Well, we are right here inside Google Play. What we shall do right now is go here to search for apps and games. And thus we are going to do a search for Art of Conquest. So there we have it, we should click the first result. On this page we have got the game app. Let's click now on the install option that I'm displaying now in green. This action will commence the software installation. Now it is going to install the game, it usually takes a while or perhaps it may possibly be extremely fast. It again all varies on our internet access. It has already ended installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing this particular button that I'm presenting in green, in order to run Art of Conquest for the first time. I am presently on the emulator desktop, and we're on the way to just click this fresh Art of Conquest icon that's been created. That game app is launched for the first time. Currently there we end up with it, I can click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the volume level of that emulator. This is here, we have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this way we won't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we can switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. This one is actually the very first one, we simply click on that app icon that I'm mentioning in green. Thus the monitor is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Supposing that we need to launch the game using all the screen, we click that icon. And therefore we would probably at present be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in full screen setting. To leave the complete screen mode, push the F11 key. And therefore we would undoubtedly at present play in standard screen setting. At this point, I am choosing to explain you the keys mapping and that is certainly very cool. That means we definitely will be able to utilize the game a lot more effortlessly. The first point is to click on this software icon. And right now there you will have the ability to complete the necessary controls. I'm going to leave the default configuration, however if you really want to modify that, you may very well do it without having problem. I take on this occasion to say that once in a while, when launching the game a dark screen shows up, if this is so and you see the black display and this emulator doesn't initiate, I suggest a feasible technique. We can click here, to the cogwheel. Inside the emulator preferences, in the advanced selection we have different image resolutions. The following is the resolution that we have currently picked as favorite choice and we must select any of these other screen resolutions, for example this one down below. We go for it and then click on save. It will probably ask us to reboot this emulator and immediately after restarted, most likely the emulator will start and that black display will go away completely. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is entirely in our own language. Once in a while it happens that your emulator is launched in the wrong language, as an example, in Chinese. And as a consequence to place it in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. So right here inside of other controls, we simply click on the language drop down. We can opt for the language we want, Italian, Japanese, etc. As soon as the language is chosen, we should save, the emulator would restart, as well as the game app, the next time we use it, would also be in the chosen language. At this time, you can find another point that we must take into consideration, and it is that we will receive an email saying that a brand new electronic device has been linked to our own Google account. It definitely will ask us if we are the ones who have connected that electronic device. Of course, we shouldn't get worried, since the emulator is emulating an Android tablet or smartphone. So you can find which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Be sure to browse here to the, model, selection. And there we learn that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for my tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that you found it handy. In this case, offer it a superb like, subscribe, and any comments, concerns or ideas, let them in the comment box down below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams occasionally, you get it below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Click on any of these video tutorials that are showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming instructional videos. Bye.